Alright guys, come on, so we're going back to Liverpool Career Mode, episode 65, and I asked you all uh, which team, well, which international team you wanted me to be manager of, and uh, a lot of you said Germany, a lot of you said Holland, but the winner is Germany, because, uh, I mean, they've got Royce, they've got all of these brilliant players, they're amazing, but uh, I'll accept this then. Right, so now that I've uh, decided which international team I was going to join, we've got West Brom next, but I want to talk about how Liverpool rate Fulham. Well, actually, how Sturridge rate Fulham, because uh, I don't know how he fucking does it, Sturridge. He just, his finishing's brilliant. He absolutely raped Fulham. That's why Martin Yol, Fulham's manager, looked like he was fucking constipated after the match. Just look at him here. It looks like he's been absolutely penetrated by Sturridge. Coutinho was amazing like usual. Like, his partnership with Sturridge is just amazing. His through balls are just incredible. And that's why we're not going to sign Ericsson by the looks of it. Because we can play Coutinho in the middle. Because of all those through balls he can do. He literally reminds me of Ronaldinho. I don't know why. He's just real, like, clever with a ball. But the good thing is he didn't goofy like Ronaldinho. Fucking hell. Yeah, so it looks like Ericsson's off to Dortmund. So, uh, good luck to Ericsson anyway. I like Ericsson. You all know that. Today's hosts are sitting in 12th place in the league. Meanwhile, the visitors are in 3rd place. The referee for this match... No is shit. Is that what you're going to say? What's Alan Smith going to say? I want him to come at me now. Go on, Alan Smith. Call me a cunt. And I'll find you, and I'll blow up your car as well. Let's have a look at the table then. All right, Carl, how's it going, son? Uh, yeah, we're third. 13 points off Man City, for fuck's sake. Man City are just absolutely destroying the league. It's a shame they couldn't do that in real life. Since we just talked about Man City just then, Man City got beat by Wigan this week um, in the FA Cup. Wigan absolutely deserved to win it. They really did. I really like Martinez. What a manager. Even if he goes to Everton, I still like him. I don't care. I really do think Martinez will go to Everton. Hits it well. And it ends with this shot. Oh, it don't it's fail. Chris Brunt, or oh, as I call him, Chris Cunt. Oh, that's a lovely ball, Gerard. Go on, Walker. Use that pace, you prick. Oh, lovely. Theo Walcott. Come here, assistant. Come here. Come here. Let me hug you. Oh, you bastard. Whoa, he just went for the fucking boards then. What the fuck? Is this a dream? I think they're ghosts. I don't know what's going on there. I don't, I don't know how they walk through it. What a goal, though. What a goal. That was like a stewage goal. He just nearly brought the fucking net. Oh, look at that from Walcott. He's raping their left back. Look at him. He can't even catch up. He's been eating too much fucking crisps. Go on. Put your on it. Oh, what the fuck was that, Coutinho? You're not that shit in real life. Oh shit, nah that's bullshit, that fell for him. Who the fuck's Brown? Kevin Brown? I don't know, I don't know who that prick is, but just watch this, yeah. You don't win the World Cup, mate. Look at this, look how soft this was. Look how it falls for him, yeah right. What a load of shit this game is. Go on Suarez! Oh the fuck do you miss that Suarez? Oh my word. Hey, fuck off Brown, I don't even know who you are. Seriously, he's like, he's like he's just killed one of the players and come on the pitch. I don't know who the fuck he is, but I know Morrison is. He's actually quite a good player. It's time to bring the brick shit house on. That is Lukaku to fuck him up. Right, where's Lukaku? There's Lukaku. Look at him. He looks hungry, doesn't he? He hasn't ate any breakfast today. No, no way. No way. West Brom just nicked it in the 90th minute. No fucking way. When did they sign Gary Hooper? That's actually a good sign in that. I think they should actually try and sign Hooper. That is bullshit. He opened me up like a tin of fucking beans then, didn't he? Oh my word. Hey, no, well, West Brom did anyway. Steve Clark did he open me up. Fuck off, Mike. Go finish your pan in the pub. Fuck off. Yeah, so after Man City lost the FA Cup, Mancini got sacked, and I'm glad he got sacked. I've been saying it a lot, but uh, I think he does deserve to get sacked. I mean, Man City fans love him, but I'm going to send this international friendly. He deserves to be sacked because that point difference between Man U and Man City, and it's something like 18 points or something, that's fucking disgusting, that is. I, I can't remember the last time the point difference was that big between the second and first. Yeah, Germany won. Scherler scored. Get in, son. But yeah, now that he's sacked, I think Rafa should take over uh, Man City because he's just a genius, he really is. If they got Rafa, they'd win the league, I'm telling you. So since we're talking about Rafa, Chelsea won the Europa League this week. 
I was absolutely gutted. I won't lie. Well, I wasn't absolutely gutted, but I was like a bit, a little bit pissed off because so obviously I wanted Benfica to win because Nine I don't like Chelsea. You all know ten. that. But it wasn't too good because at the end of the day, Rafa won another trophy, and I love Rafa. As Liverpool fans love him, we really do. Shame you Chelsea fans don't. But yeah, Chelsea got a 90th minute winner, I think it was. And uh, I just saw it coming. Once they got that corner, you just knew it was fucking going in. I was pissed off that uh, John Terry lifted the trophy. He, did, he had no part in it at all, and he fucking lifted it. He lifts everything. He lifts the Champions League. He had no part in that. It's just, I don't like Terry. I really don't. As a player, yeah, he's, he's a good player. Don't get me wrong, but... As a person, he's a fucking dickhead and I don't like him, but I think Rafa should have lifted the trophy. But anyway, we've got Fulham. Let's kick the shit out of Fulham. But yeah, back to Wigan. They got relegated on, uh, was it Monday or was it Tuesday? I think it was Tuesday and I was gutted for Wigan. I wanted them to win. And I, you guys know I've got a bit of a soft spot for Arsenal, but I actually wanted Wigan to win. Because, uh, I don't know, I just like them. I do. And obviously I like Martinez, like I said before. But uh, they play good football as well, which is always good. But uh, I know they'd go down. I said it in last week's episode, I think. It's difficult to anticipate which side will show up because their form has been so up and down lately. Just wonder what version we'll see out here. I'm sure that's like the fifth time he said that this season, Alan Smith. Alan Smith, can you fuck off and don't turn up and, and let Gary Neville take your place? Because I'd rather have Gary Neville than you. Alan Smith doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, does he? Let's have a look at the table. Oh, now Spares are above us. Just, that's just great, isn't it? Spares. Oh, yeah, talk about Spares. It looks like they're going to miss out on Champions League now. I'm absolutely gutted for Spares because I love AVB. I really do. Just look at his face. Look at AVB's face. How can you say no to that face? Oh, that's lovely. Oh, beautiful Ozil. Get in, frog eyes. Get in, son. Celebrate, celebrate, what the fuck's he doing? What the fuck? Alright then, I don't know what the fuck that was all about. Look at this. I mean, you could call that a tramp goal, but it won't really. I don't like pass it across the box. Oh shit. Ooh, what the fuck was that? It just like fucking karate kicked that into the stands then. What the fuck? That's like the worst effort I've ever seen on this game. Ever. That is just shocking. He needs to work on his football ability instead of doing fucking karate kicks. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kicks were fast as lightning. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Did you just see that then? Are you serious? The ball just ricocheted off the post and went straight back to him. That's happened twice in two games. Look at this. Look at it go back to him. Just look at that. What a load of shit that is. It's happened again. Rebounds. According to EA, right? According to EA, rebounds happen every match, apparently. Like, when it never does. It, hardly, it does happen sometimes, I'll, be, I'll admit that. But it doesn't happen, like, every fucking game. EA, I've got a message for you. Sort your fucking life out, mate. Exactly, sort your life out and sort your fucking game out as well. I paid like, I don't know how much I paid for this fucking game, but I paid a lot of money for it. Well, we all paid a lot of money for this game, and it's worth a bottle of piss, this is, <laughs> pretty much. No way. Are you serious? Are you serious? Fuck off, Roddy Yeager, you shit. Since when does he play? And Sidwell, he's like, he's basically Steven Gerrard on his, look at this. Look at this for a pass, look at that for a pass. He just went through my defend, like Ferdinand goes through cocaine. No way, no way, get it out, fucking hell what's going on there, everyone's falling over each other. Cross it. Go on, Ozil. Are you serious? How the fuck did you miss that, Ozil? How the fuck did he miss that? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Oh, go on, Walcott. Finish it. Yes, Theo Walcott. Theo, the pace-abusing bastard, Walcott. 
Look at this. Hey, he's raping me there. He's been sexually assaulting me there. Seriously. I want compensation. I want compensation for that. That's bullshit. You can't rape someone on the pitch. Oh, shit. Hey, don't miss. What the fuck was Kyle Walker doing then? He's on the floor. Look at him. Look at this. What the fuck's he doing? He's like spinning on the ground. Doing a head spin. He's been doing some dance classes and that. Seriously, he thinks he's a street dancer now. Oh well, it's better than be a fucking ballet dancer, isn't it? Go on, Stevie, you won. Oh, for fuck's sake, Stevie. Who was you aiming for? Was there an Everton fan in the crowd or something? Oh, I get. He just pretty much saved us a point here. Oh, look at that ball, look at that ball. Oh, oh, Walcott. Come on, Walcott, you better. You better square this, son. Go on. Oh, Walker, how do you miss? He's gone back to his Arsenal days. Go on. Oh, Matt. Go on again. Go on. Ref Are you serious, referee? No way. That was a goal. No way. And they started bumming each other in the, in the belly area then. This is bullshit. I've been robbed. Hey, referee, blow it, dickhead. No way. If he scores now. If he scores now. If he scores now, it's his fucking bull. No way. Oh, Rainer. I love you, Rainer. I want to kiss you on the fucking forehead. If he scores this. If he scores this. Get out. Beautiful, Gerard. David Beckham's going to retire this season. I mean, I'm not really too bothered about it, to be honest, because... Uh, fuck off, Mike. I told you to finish that pan. Yeah, so David Beckham's retiring. I'm not really bothered about that. I care more about Jamie Carragher. Because Jamie Carragher, what a legend. And this Sunday's game is his last game, which is really sad because... Yeah, I just love Jamie Carragher. Those Liverpool fans, we love him. Great guy as well. He don't care about the money, unlike most footballers these days. They're all cunts. It's going to be weird seeing Liverpool without him, you know what I mean? It's just weird how everyone's retiring. Michael Owen retired. He's a cunt. I don't really like him. David Beckham's retiring. Jamie Carragher's retiring. Ferg is retiring. I will miss him, which I didn't think I'd ever say. And I'm sure there's a few others retiring that I can't remember. Oh yeah, Skulls. Skulls, what a player, what a player, even I have to admit Skulls is a great player. Oh yeah, what I forgot to say is, um, I think earlier I was talking about the top four and it looks like Arsenal are going to get top four. I'm good for Spurs because I think they actually do deserve top four, I'll be honest. I mean, you all know I like Arsenal, but um, I think Spurs deserve it more. They've played, they've got a better squad and they play better football and they're just better. Really, they're better than Arsenal, to be honest. I mean, I have a lot of Arsenal fans. I think I've got Ed, Juju Beans. But you have to admit, Spurs have been solid this season. Liverpool. Right, so let's beat the shit out of Ajax. There's been a lot of uh, transfer rumours about Falcao, and apparently he's going to Monaco, and that's that's a weird move, that is, because if I was him, I'd have joined Chelsea. But the best news about these rumours is, apparently, yeah. Uh, oh, my word. What... A fucking goal this is. Al Apoli can see the goal like that. Look at this. What a goal. That's just a brilliant goal. I have to admit that. But yeah, like I was saying, the best transfer news I've heard all week is Ashley Williams is going to Arsenal apparently. Yes. I, when I heard that, I did a Mourinho and I fucking slid on my knees. And uh, actually, I, I think I scraped him as well because uh, it was on concrete. I'm so happy because I fucking. You all know I hate Ashley Williams for passion. He's a massive cunt. He said all this stuff about um, about Suarez just to get attention and shit. And he said lots of stuff about other players. He's just a massive cunt. And uh, Arsenal fans, be warned. You're signing a massive dickhead. So uh, yeah. Hopefully Vermaelen kicks the shit out of him while he's at Arsenal. I'll get that silver spoon, motherfucker. You see him coming, you run for your motherfucking life. But uh, apparently Liverpool are going to sign a player called Papa the Pop... I can't even fucking say it. How do you pronounce his name, is it? I don't know, but it's, it's sad to say his name is... It's called Papa the... Papa the Pop... That's what he's called, basically. Um, but let's, let's just call him Papa. This is what he looks like. And when I saw this... Uh, I was quite scared because if I saw him in a, in a fucking dark alley at night and uh, it, it's just me and I'm walking towards him and he's walking towards me, I'd fucking run. If we do sign him, I hope he sees everyone in a back alley and so he beats his shit out of him. Today's a good day to die. 
meant to be good this Papa the Pablo he's meant to be good so um, hopefully he is good in the Premier League and he's a Greek he's a fucking Greek he's like he's like Krigiakos don't know if any of you remember him but he's right hairy bastard <laughs> and he used to he used to get regarded every match oh shit Gerard's injured fuck off he won't square him on the floor like that Steven Gerard. he's big and he's fucking hard right I'll have to put Chabby on I also put Coutinho and Sturridge on because these two go together like beer for pissheads and pies for Sam Allardyce. Oh, look at that turn. Yes, Luis Suarez. I just can't get enough of Suarez. Just can't. Beautiful. Where's the uh, landsman from that side? There he is. Yeah, eat that. He just swore at you, landsman, you cunt. Beautiful. Whoa, oh, raping then, Enrique. Oh, look at that for a goal. Just look at that. It's just too easy for Suarez. It really is. I hope he fucking stays. Because a lot of people saying he's going to leave. But uh, I think he'll stay. I honestly do. Go on, Coutinho. Yes, Coutinho. I love this lad. Who doesn't love Coutinho? Go on. Yes, Luis Suarez. 11 goals in all competitions. Get in, son. Where's his assistant? Where is he? I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I think he's shit scared. Come here. Oh, nice. He's just done what he did to David Moyes. Get in. Great Dav. Great Dav. I'll give you a 10 for that, Dav. This is fucking Strictly Come Dancing now. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Tom Daly will be proud of that, Dav Suarez. So will Ashley Young. Go on, touch me. You can't touch me. Go on. Oh, my word. What a save. What the fuck's he doing? He just booted his own player in the ass, then. What the fuck? Oh, he's got the ball again. He's got the ball. No, he ain't got the ball. Now he has got it. Come get me. Come get me. This is fucking cat and mouse, this. Oh, shit, he got me. Fuck. Eat this, you bastard. Oh, whoa, is, is, is this knowing him then? What the fuck happened there? Seriously, this game's fucked up. That's a good win, though. All because of Luis Suarez and Coutinho. How can you not love them two? Well, I know a lot of you hate Suarez, but who gives a shit? One thing I forgot to mention last week was uh, Stan Petrov's retired. And I have to say I'm quite sad to see Stan Petrov uh, retire because of his fight with, uh, is it leukemia? I think it's leukemia. I wish Stan Petrov all the best. But yeah, I'm happy for Villa fans because they're staying up. I, I always wanted them to stay up. I just thought Ben Teke, the brick shit house, stays with Villa now and that have stayed up. I'm just really gutted that it's the last game of the season on Sunday. I just can't believe it. It feels like it was only yesterday when the season just fucking started and it's just suddenly over already. When the season ends, I'm going to go absolutely mental without football. I just don't know what I'm going to do. But I just hope that uh, Jamie Carragher scores against shitty QPR on, on Sunday. You know, since it's his last match, that'd be real funny if he just fucking scored a beauty or let him score a penalty. For the last, like, ten minutes, they should just, like, play him up front. That'd be fucking hilarious. But knowing how, how inconsistent Liverpool are, we'll probably fucking lose 7-0. <laughs> that's, that's just how Liverpool are. I don't know why. We just we just have got no consistency whatsoever. But anyways, when we come back for the next episode, we'll be playing Man City. And hopefully we can beat them because they're first. But anyways, I hope you all have a great day. And uh, see you later. <laughs>